Early wake-up time in the States for this game. I almost wish I stayed in bed. Okay, you little shit. Get down. This fucking team is driving me crazy. We have six wins on February 2nd. That has not happened at this point in the season since 1917. There's a fucking World War I movie out about 1917. That's the last time we had six wins. Credit where credit's due. I always get on Jaka's case. Anybody that read or seen anything that I've ever done in the last six months knows how I feel about him. But that fucker is playing his heart out. Go play left back today. I mean, if it weren't for bad luck, we'd have no luck at all with these fucking injuries. Mustafi. I ripped into him last week. Don't make me run. I'm full of chocolate. Oh. All I know is that Mustafi had a great game. And maybe I should stop making fun of him all the time. Guten Tag. Oh, would you care for a bite of my fingers across the ball? And I love Arteta. But he's got he's to gotta realize that Willick needs to go out on loan. Willick needs to go out on loan. Uh, the poor kid has no confidence. I don't understand why he put him in. But that's just a minor complaint. I love Arteta. I love what he's doing. Even in this shit day, there were some positives, again, to take from this game. Now, this is going to be a short video. The stupid, shitty Super Bowl is today. Where we get to watch 11 minutes of NFL action and three and a half hours of commercials. Of which about 20% are good. New York fucking out. Leader from the United Emirates of Bumbuckla, Canada. Right now, me not happy. When you hear my voice, come am upset in Bumbuckla. What Arsenal players them doing? Me not understand. One minute we up and the next minute we Bumbuckla down. We go up Burnley when we should have burned Bumbuckla Burnley instead of Burnley nearly burn me up. You know what I mean? Listen to me now, artist. You know me rate but me I tell you today, you get it wrong. When the bum buckler to steal a child with Ozil for, let me tell you how much me not like Ozil. I play my PS4 every day. And you saw me first get my PS4 in my bum buckler team arsenal. Me make sure to cheat bum buckler Ozil to LA Galaxy in the blood club United States of a lot of people. In the depth of my team, no time, no day, no how. You know what I mean? Let me tell you this now. Pepe should have started the bomb blood clot game. Tira should have started the fuck. Yeah, listen to me, man. I don't want to get upset you now. It's time for Lacazette to start coming off my bench because he's not producer rotted. You know what I mean? Obama young big up a cell, but you should have scored. You know what I mean? I'm upset. Nil nil. No, I don't feel good at bomb buckler clot. You know? you know what I mean? But big up. Every one of Arsenal fans, them, you don't know the thing set up a galley that in an auto bomb buckler. Like me done. You know? Hi, Arsenal fans. We have come back down to earth. So we were there every week wondering would we make the top four? Would we not make the top four? Now we have our answer. We would not make the top four. To be honest with you, this bunch of players are crap. Our team is crap and that's the real value and we should just accept it. To be honest with you, we were lucky to walk out of Burnley with a draw because given the number of occasion opportunity we have in that game and the way we play, they could have scored five, six goals. We were lucky. This team is not good enough. I would not criticize them though. They try their best. They play their best. But that best is not good enough. You think about it. Who in that team you would think that that's a player that should be playing for Arsenal? Not many of them. If you ask me, I would say I'll keep Torreira in the middle, Aubameyang up front, Leno, and then the youngster or the new signing. Let's rebuild for the future. I was secretly hoping that they're going to fight and defend our invincible record against Liverpool. This bunch of players, they can't give you anything. We're not getting any satisfaction from them. We got out of jail on that one. We got dominated by Burnley today and we should have lost that one. Burnley is going to feel 
really hard done by that they didn't score against us, especially when they hit the bar and it chucked off the line. And, uh, you know, we started off so well and it's, uh, you know, the first minute positive pass by Mustafi and then the header wide by Lacazette, you know, Lacazette seems to be absolutely out of it. Today's stat was absolutely mind boggling that he has not scored an away goal for a year. The last that he scored was against Huddersfield a year ago. And that's just not good enough because we have one of the best strikers in the Premier League, which is Aubameyang. He's playing out of position to accommodate Lacazette. And I love Lacazette. You know, he puts in a shift and we all know that he is a great striker. But right now he's he's devoid of confidence. So why do we keep persisting with him? Why are we not playing Oba? Pepe and Martinelli, which is a great front line. And then maybe we're a couple of goals up and then bring on Lacazette to get his confidence up. Right now, he feels that pressure to score every time and he's not able to deliver. That's not doing him any good. So the lineup was not right according to me today. Uh, you know, even Torreira, why was he not playing? He's fit. He's not playing. Uh, you know, why, why is that? You know, this b text Stoke City put us to the sword and we had no answers to that, you know, 13 draws. We got 31 points after 25 games. That's just not acceptable. Yeah, some of these players that we used to hide, they are not good as we think they are. Some of these players that we used to have, they are not good as we think they are. Besides Aubameyang, Bad Leno, Lucas Storia, all of them are average. They just all is average beside those three, beside Bad Leno. Aubameyang and Lucas Storia, the rest of all is average and how good as we think they are. So let's get that. They are playing in a better system. That's why we, they are, we are not, that's why the system is not exposing them. But they are not good as we think they are. They are average. They are average footballers. The Bellerin, the Matteo. Matteo, I don't want to get into him because he's a long, young lad is developing. The, 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 the Lacazette, all of them are average. They are average. And Michael Ateta used to install some agents in our players. Gondos, for instance, he doesn't move the ball quickly. He always look for fouls instead of just play a through pass. There were many situations he should have done that, but he didn't. I mean, the ball is a different ball game now. Most of the times they're doing the counter-attacking football. So it's all about moving the ball quickly and catching other teams while they have not grouped. But if we are slow and then you allow teams to group, we're not going to penetrate. It will be difficult for us. So I'm hoping that Michael Ateta fix this problem or else uh, will cry again. Burnley really gave us a hard time, but I, I came here expecting to get a win. I don't know how we tied. Most players had a poor game to be honest with you. Leno's mistake wasn't good. It was, it was, it, it's just his mistake wasn't good. He made a few mistakes today. My man of the match today probably would be Granny Chaka maybe or Hector Bellerin, I'm not sure. But overall, we didn't have, we had a poor game. I hope we bounce back and we actually perform. We're gonna need the wins. If we want, if we, I want the Champions League spot, but if even if we want a Europa League spot, we need to start winning. We can't get it with, with ties. Premier League is over in my opinion. I think we should focus on Europa League. If we win the Europa League this year, it would be a miracle. Oh, okay, we move. Let's go Gunners negative stats two wins in 17 Premier League games one win Premier League win under Ateta 25 points in about 25 26 games or something yeah you know the lowest points at the stage since 1913 six wins all season only Norwich and Watford has won fewer games. I mean, I, I mean, I think, I think Atata has a, a real acculent task on his hand right now. A real acculent task on his hand. Half of these players just need to go, honestly. I think the only one 
period with Ateta is over already, if you ask me. I think the honeymoon period is over. I mean, I don't know. Seriously, seriously. We, we, you know, the level of intensity, I think, it, it didn't even last more than 20 minutes or something like that today. Honestly. My heart goes out to the victims of the straight arm the terrorist attack London this afternoon. You know, as for Ozil, congratulations for him on his 258 game appearance for Arsenal. Uh, this afternoon, Mustafi had one of the best game of his life. Shaka as well was brilliantly awesome, you know. It's very, very unfortunate we didn't win the game. I know, but all the same, we didn't concede as well. And it is very important we went home with the one point. You know, before now, in this kind of game, we go with our with our hands in our hearts in our hands. But we were able to hold our own in this game, you know. And I'm happy that the board has hearkened to our cry by shopping for these two defensive players you know this january winter like i keep saying that you don't have to wait for the summer to pile up the pressure you do it off in the winter when the summer comes you do one or two shopping you know from now till the winter summer you know where you have to fix it and when the tech summer comes you fix it up thank you very very much for that very for these two acquisition it's it's important for us you know and as far theta I just want him to remain focused, determined. We will get there. It's just the pieces of the puzzles. We need to get it right. When the time comes, we will all smile. Yo, what's up, Ghana family? Yo, I'm telling you, this this we are the king of draws right now. Uh, we have to start asking the questions if if our midfield players are really what they're worth, because. You know, the way Ozil sometimes just dies off. We just drop off even in intensity in the midfield so quickly. It's like a balloon and we just, someone just pokes the balloon and we're done. Out of gas, steam. And no one is, and Lacazette is just so poor right now. I think he needs to go to reserves and just figure himself out. Because he just seems, his positioning is just, he's just someone who seems lost at the moment, so. Um, I think he just needs to just play with the reserves and just get some kind of confidence. Just knock goals in even though it's in the reserves and just get that feel of scoring goals and then come back. Uh, otherwise, it's a draw. And you, usually before we go away for such breaks, we don't perform well. So, And you remember last time when we went to Dubai, going on holidays is really a bad thing for us now. So our season is in trouble. Yeah, yeah, Arsenal guns out. Arsenal Burnley, we should have won, but 0 0. We're lucky that they didn't score when the ball hit off the crossbar. The team was lackadaisical. I think Obama Young coming back, he wasn't ready. Uh, he's rusty. Um, I mean, the team was lackluster. I mean, but we draw, we didn't lose. But uh, it could have been better. But I, I really see the progress with us moving forward. And um, we just gotta keep at it. Uh, I see us winning the next five fixtures and, and losing Manchester City. We have Olympia plus in there somehow in the next uh, month and a half. But um, slow progress. We still have ground to gain. Um, Spurs won, which was bad. Man United draw. Chelsea draw. We should have won, but we didn't win. But let's just keep the focus. We got two new signings. Hopefully they can start, at least one of them. And we can improve on the defense and, and attack going forward and be successful. Until then, Arsenal guns out bullet. Um, overall, I think maybe the team selection that he got today, uh, I think Ateta might have gotten it wrong. I would have preferred him if he started Martinelli, Pepe, and maybe Aubameyang in the middle. And um, I think Martinelli plays best from the left. He should have kept that Saka and Martinelli combination going. I think that's what worked for us in the previous game. Um, other than that, uh, I really hope that Saka is not out for a long time because it's been really doing well. Um, it's one of our youth. But um, other than that, I'm still happy we got a clean sheet. We're lucky to actually not lose the game because that post that got hit in the last minute was just something else, man. But yeah. And we've had some good performances, but we are not actually getting the results, and that makes you think about the the personnel that we have. Do we really have a good defense? Do we really have good midfielders? Do we really have consistent strikers? 
I know Bamiang and Lacazette are amazing, but the re recently, especially Lacazette, he's been missing so many chances. So for me, I throw my eggs in the Europa League basket because the Premier League is already over. There's a time we had, um, we were 13th on Saturday. There's a time we were 13th, and imagine Arsenal 13th in February. It's not like we've started the season and we've lost two games, and then you find yourself 20th. No, it's actually February, and we're heading to March, and we were 13th. So right now we are we are 10th, same points with 11th, 12th and 13th. So I just concentrate on the Europa League and the FA Cup. Remember, if you win the FA Cup, you can actually get a spot in the Europa League. So that is what I'd go for because I don't even see us qualifying to the Europa League even through the league. So either way, let's wait for the Newcastle game. We now have a two-week break. I hope uh, Pablo Mari and Cedric Suarez uh, get into the team soon because right now our defense, everything is not looking right right now. So let's see how it goes. Burnley, when it was a physical game, I was shocked to see Gondolius starting over to Torreira, to be honest. Um, Torreira gives the defense some cover, he helps protect our fullbacks who are bombing forward. So we were a bit exposed today, a bit um, weak and not solid at the back. But we take heart, it's a rebuilding project, it's going to take time, I hope the board supports Ateta in the summer. Um, I think it's time Ateta considers trying like a set in the 10. Because Ozil isn't giving us enough creatively, and Laka isn't sharp enough to be our focal point. Alba is wasted at the wing, he should play up front center. Pepe one side, Martinelli the other side, or and, and try Laka in the 10. But onwards now to Europa. I think it's the only route back into Europe. Come on, you gunners. Um, I think basically we need to let our hopes down completely because. I think the re the more we lie that fast that we're not going to be winning most games, the better it gets. Um, that's my message to all the fans. Um, other than that, today's game, um, Mustafi and Xhaka, they deserve a round of applause. Those are the two players that was really played their heart out. Mustafi was stuck in there basically. Even though I wouldn't have him in my team for the future, for now, he's doing very well. I have no complaint against him. And to be honest, he's ahead of any defender in that team. Other than that, uh, midfield, we don't have the squad depth. Most of these players that we have as young players that is integrated into this team, they're not ready enough. We need to be signing quality players in the summer that can score goals like Zayak, all of those players that can score goals and we need to have depth in our team because the only goal, the only goal is coming is from Aubameyang or Martinelli. Other than that, there's no one in that team that's going to go. Before, we used to have Ramsey and you know what happened with them. So, for me personally, many of these players are not ready. Like, Willock is not ready completely. He needs to go out on loan. And that's, it, it's clear to see the guy needs a lot of experience. Uh, Gwendoz is the same thing. I would have him loaned out for a year or so, get a lot of experience, get him drilled up in defense because clearly if you have him in that team, they're going to be walking towards the field. I feel that Afeta has to take a big portion of the blame today. I love what he's doing. I love him as a manager, but today the team selection was all wrong. He shouldn't have dropped Pepe. He shouldn't have dropped Torreira. And he shouldn't have moved Martinelli to a very uncomfortable position on the right just to accommodate Lacazette and Aubameyang. Lacazette needs to be dropped now. I don't want to hear, oh no, you, ca you can't drop him because you're going you're gonna to knock his confidence. Uh, his confidence will be on the ground. He hasn't scored an away goal in over, uh, an away Premier League goal in over a year. If that was Giroud, we would be asking him for, for him to be sold. We have to keep the same energy. I'm not asking for him to be sold, but he has to be dropped. We did not become a charity where it's like, oh, you know what? You're not doing the business, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep you inside when there are other players doing better, just to kind of hope that you will start doing the business. And I feel that Gwendozi shouldn't have played today. People say he played against all right against Bournemouth, but he, he ruins the tempo of our midfield too much. Ateta's style of play is pretty much, is very much like that Pep Arsenal style of play where it's quick passing, quick attacking, quick movement. Gwendozi is not quick, first of all, and he takes two, three, four, five touches and passes back, passes sideways. It completely ruins the tempo of our, of our midfield. Ozil shouldn't have played. 
I, but I really need to praise Mustafi, he had an excellent game. Considering how much people have gotten on his backs previously, he had an excellent game today. Uh, props to Granit Xhaka as well, once again playing out of position to try and help the team. He didn't play too bad at uh, left back, he played alright. Only positives from today's game, clean sheet. That's pretty much it, it was such a boring game, we were terrible. Hopefully Ateta learns his lesson and will do better against Newcastle next week. Come on you Gunners. Lacazette was not the best player on the pitch. So why was Pepe benched? Why was Ceballos not playing? Like these players who have performed in the previous match, they should be given a chance. Ozil, not great. Aubameyang pushed way onto the side. Like, I'm starting to question if we're even going to make it into Europe again because we don't deserve Europe at this moment in time. We have other games ahead and I don't have any hope in this team. Even when we drew against Chelsea, people were saying positive performance. I still wasn't happy about it because we didn't win. It's another draw, another D, which we don't need. And let's see what... Let's see where the road takes us at this point because I don't care about the Premier League right now. I don't really care. The only thing Arsenal do right now is just playing for pride. 